What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we got a very interesting SPC that came out. He's looking really, really solid for the most part. It's going to be that 96 rated FC Pro Champion Juan Roman Riquelme, a very known player for the majority of the population. We are looking at a card six foot on the height, high medium work rates, double five star on those skill moves and weak foot, right footed. Acceleration type is controlled explosive. 90 pace, 91 shooting, 97 passing, 90 dribbling, 90 defending, 87 physicality as well. Play styles that Mr. Riquelme comes with, power shot, dead ball, incisive pass, flare, first touch, trickster, and Travella, all on basic. And then the four gold play styles, technical, ping pass, tiki taka, and finesse shot as well. So some very good play styles for this man right here. Now, when you're looking at the card, specifically the stats, What's the cam style to give him? Because you could go with so much. Engine, Hunter, Hawk, Shadow, Anchor. I'm gonna slap the Hunter on him. And the reason for that is that I do wanna boost up that pace. Acceleration 95, sprint speed gets maxed out 99, and then attack position 93, finishing 96, and then shot power goes up to 98 as well. Dribbling, looking amazing. Passing, looking amazing. Defending and physicality is looking really good as well. Unfortunately, he has no defending play styles, but I don't expect him to be on the same level like a Hullet or Jude Bellingham. I just want to see how he contributes mainly in the offense as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Speaking about that, Bikelman is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Samoa for lending us the account in a 4-3-2-1 formation. And he's going to be playing as a center-center mid right next to that Jude Bellingham. Now, by the time I am recording this video, Riquelme is just under a million coins if you do it from scratch. A little bit expensive, but at the same time, he's looking really, really good. So for those of you guys that try out this SPC, let me know your thoughts about him in the comment section down below. We're gonna play some games on foot champs and see if this card is a potential top 10 box to box midfielder at this stage of the game. All right, here we go with game number one. Let's see our opponent's team. Overall, the team is pretty mid. Yeah, should be a good and easy test for Riquelme. Oh, yes, sir, Riquelme. Very nice layout to Grimaldo. All right, good start. That is a good turn. Very nice turn. Go with the technical dribbling. Wins the tackle right there. Beautiful layout to Diaz. I don't know what that weak shot was. That was terrible from Diaz. It's a nice interception. Once again, a good turn from the card. I am liking his turning. Oof, that is a good try from the card, man. Good try. What a layoff. Beautiful layoff from Riquelme to Grimaldo. And what am I seeing? Oh, that was clean. Wow. That was absolutely beautiful. A little bit slow. I will say that the dribbling isn't super explosive, but it got the job done, and that was an amazing finish in the 88 minute. Yo, Roman Riquelme. Juan Roman Riquelme. This guy moves the goalkeeper, and we take that finish from the man himself. Nice stuff. Wow, once again, another beautiful cook. That reverse elastico is working out from Riquelme, we move. Once again, another miss, really unfortunate. 
Let's see if we can get the ball back right here defensively. We do, alright. We move, we move. There we go. That's the Riquelme I want to see. What a banger from outside the box. Beautiful layoff to Barcola, and that's going to be an assist for the man himself. Very nice on keeping onto the ball right there. And that is a good pass to Griezmann. Once again, beautiful ball to Griezmann, unlucky. Oh, I like that step over. Oh, man, kill me, bro. Unlucky. Not bad. Like I said before, the turning isn't exactly quick, but it's not terrible either. That's a good ball, though. Oh, wow. Very nice with the technical dribbling. Good layoff to Barcola. That's a pen, right? Yes, sir. That is a penalty. And we're going to shoot it with Mr. Riquelme, who has some pretty good pen stats. We're going to go top left. Hopefully, he does not miss. Nice finish. That is a nice interception. All right. Nice defending. Nice LBY. We take that. Gonna give it back to him right here. Let's see what we can do with the finesse. There we go. Okay, well, awesome, man. Ooh, that's amazing stuff from the card. See, is he able to get the ball right here defensively? I want to test out his defensive capabilities, and he gets a nice interception. So, the manual defending is pretty solid for the most part. Go once again with the manual defending, and he gets a nice and aggressive tackle. All right. I see you, Riquelme. Yo, that technical dribbling, man, is very nice. Great ball to frame pong. We move. Oh, that was nice. Wow. That step over animation was actually quick. That's the first step over animation today that was actually really nice and explosive. Nice find to Vinny. That's going to be another assist for Riquelme in today's video. Come on, you got to score that. Let's go. The composure, the resilience, the resistance to keep onto the ball and finish the play. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 96 rated FC Pro Champion Juan Roman. Rick Elme coming around 840,000 coins from scratch on the Xbox and PlayStation platforms, 752,000 coins, give or take, on the PC platform if you're doing from scratch on there. He has exactly 11 segments, so not that cheap. We played four games with the card, eight goals, and two assists as a center center mid in a 4 3 2 1 formation. Now, it's safe to say that Riquelme is finally meta, boys. We finally have a Roman Riquelme that's very good and meta in EFC 24 or in FIFA in general because let's be honest, he's never met on FIFA. He's always less than 100,000 coins. He's always less than 200,000 coins. He's never on the same level like Hullet, Sidan, Vieira, um, Mateus, and those type of cards. He's not even close to those levels. He's father, basically. And with this 96 rated... Man, the pros. Let's go with the pros. Number one, he's double five. That's automatically a plus. You got to be double five, if not at least some combination of a five-star skill moves or weak foot at this stage of the game, especially as a midfielder. You got to be one of those 
at this stage of the game. Next pro from the card is the passing. The passing is arguably the best aspect from the card. 99 on the vision, 95 crossing, 98 short pass, and 97 long pass. He has three passing play styles in the passing category, being pink pass and tiki taka on gold, and he has incisive pass on basic. I mean, he did have two assists in four games, five star weak foot. Playing this card as the cam roll would be absolutely amazing because his playmaking with the passing is top tier. He's one of the best passers in EFC 24, so good stuff right there. Let's talk about the dribbling. The dribbling is a little bit interesting. At first, the dribbling was pissing me off. I'm gonna be honest, the dribbling was pissing me off a little bit because first of all, he has no quick step, he has no rapid, so. Not having those two play styles on someone like Riquelme is a little bit annoying because Riquelme is usually very, very slow in FIFA. So in order for this card to be very meta, you have to make the dribbling very, very high. Everything has to be 90 plus, And you have to make the pace very high. 87 acceleration for a Riquelme card is not that good. 92 sprint speed is decent. So 92 sprint speed goes up to 99. 87 acceleration goes up to 95. The left stick dribbling from this card is pretty good. 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 93 agility, and 93 bounce. Left stick dribbling was okay. It's not on the same level like a Neymar, a Putellas, or a Zizou, but it's pretty decent for somebody like Riquelme. Now, the stepovers are a little bit annoying at times. I love to spam stepovers. This is a personal preference, maybe for somebody like yourself that doesn't really spam stepovers. You don't really care about that. But for somebody like myself that loves to spam stepovers very consistently, his stepovers are a little bit inconsistent at times. You guys saw there were one or two goals where his stepovers, the animation was very nice and explosive. But for the majority of time, it's a little bit slow. And it's a little bit annoying at times because at this stage of the game, you have to have fast paced players. So the dribbling is okay in some aspects but in other aspects, I wish it was a little bit better. Now, let's talk about the physicality. The physicality is very good. 90 stamina is okay. It's nothing crazy. He has no relentless play style. So depending where you want to play this card in the pitch, he could get tied very easily or not. It depends where you play him. It depends on the instructions as well. What I do like from the physicality is the 87 strength, 82 aggression, him being six foot. It honestly felt like this card had press proven on gold, which is very funny because he does not have that play style. But it's very tough to get the ball of this card because of his physicality and his body type. He is very strong. I do like that a lot. Also, talking about the physicality, he wins the majority on one on one tackles. If you're somebody that loves to select your midfielders, if you play this card as a box to box manually, he wins the majority of one on one tackles even without a single defending play style. Now, let's talk about the defending. Because the defending is actually pretty good, manually. Don't rely on his defensive AI to be on the same level like a Jude Bellingham, like a Ruud Hullid, and those type of cards. It's not on the same level, but 89 receptions, 80 defense awareness, 92 stand tackling, him being six foot. It's something I can work with. I did appreciate his defending whenever I did select him. The defending, his defensive positioning, the interceptions, reading the passing lanes was pretty satisfying for the most part. Now let's talk about the shooting because the shooting is actually really, really good. There were a couple finesse shots I wish he would have scored, but some people are gonna say I should green time my finesse shots, even though I disagree. 95 long shots, 94 shot power going up to 98, 88 finishing going up to 96, eight goals in four games with the five star weak foot. So I will say the finishing is a pro. I do like his finishing. I do like that his versatility when it comes to scoring is very, Versatile, finesse shot on gold, power shot on basic, five star weak foot. So when it comes to the scoring aspect, Riquelme does a really, really good job in doing that. Now, where would I rank this card? I honestly have no idea because I would have to give this man a couple more tries on this account because you could play this card as a box to box. You could play this card as the cam roll. I think personally as the cam roll, would be his best position, but at the same time, he's not quick. And at this stage of the game, you need very nice and fast paced players, especially at that cam roll. As a center mid, he gets the job done pretty nicely, but he has no defending play styles, but he is six foot, so I do like that a lot. I don't know. 
Where would you guys play this card personally if you complete the SPC? What do you guys think is the best position? I'm kind of mixed with a center mid box to box or as the cam roll. But speaking about overall the card, I think he's very fun. I think he's very meta, kind of expensive. But if you do complete the SPC, you're definitely going to enjoy what you completed. I wouldn't put him on the same level like a Hullet. I just wouldn't put him on the same level as the big boys, as Jude Bellingham. Um, I don't know. Uh, Vitinha, Modric, I don't know. I just would not put him on that same level. He's a tier below in my opinion. So he's going to get thumbs up for me. And he's going to get a rating of a 9 out of 10. At first, I was going to give this card an 8.5 because the quickness was pissing me off. But he did grow on me. This card did grow on me. So definitely going to give him a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for the support on all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next videos we will be dropping will be tomorrow, Sunday. And I think I'm going to drop anywhere between two to four videos. I'm thinking about Butch Reguenio Evolution Footies, Ramirez Evolu Ramirez uh, Footies as well, and then uh, Risto Stoichkov as well Footies Icon. It looks pretty good for the most part. So we're going to have to see the vibes with those three cards. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.